So there's going to be 13 schools with 14 SROs, so, and that's because East High School, which is by far the largest the school within the, the district, is going to have two officers. Uh, I'm not going to be everybody's friend. I mean, I'm not going to be everybody's friend that's in this room today. But if I put myself out there and they observe me because kids watch, and everybody in this room should know kids watch, and they can cut through the BS quicker than most people can. Mm -hmm. So they know who you are and if you're real. And I think the hardest, the kids that are the hardest to break through to usually end up being the kids that you have the most impact on. At least that's been my experience. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that had there been an officer assigned to that school that that uh, incident would not have happened uh, because obviously that, that individual knew that he was going to be searched upon entry into that school and so he decided to bring a gun anyway. But I think what would have uh, been different, a couple of things I think would have been different. One is I think that there would have been an officer or two in that school that would have already had an, a, a relationship with Austin and would have understood some of those challenges and maybe done a better job connecting them with resources to help them address those challenges. Secondly, I think that if there had been reasonable suspicion or probable cause to believe that he had a weapon, um, not, just a, you know, not just a safety plan, but, but reasonable suspicion probable cause to believe he had a weapon, then officers would have been conducting that search.